Hey guys, it's Drac, and this is a Nerf Tech Target. I'm making a new pistol just for fun, and because I'm already painting a secret project, I will be painting that with some similar paints to kind of test out how those paints look on top of each other and as base coats. So without further ado, I'm going to break this down and sand it for prepping. For that base coat, I'll probably start with black, go over it with some new painting techniques I want to try, and then lay in some finger red detailing. I'll also overhaul the internals so that this is much tougher than any night finder I've ever seen. Alright, so you guys can see here that the Tech Target shell has been sanded and prepped. I didn't go extensive sanding on this one, I just hit it with some 80 grit and worked up to 150. Nothing crazy, but this is ready for its base coat before I add in my new painting technique. This is a standard Tech Target plunger, and this is what it looks like inside. I think I'm going to carve this down to make a new spring rest, redo the plunger seal so that it's tougher, and if I come in here with my chainmail pliers, which have a hook in them, I can remove this, and it looks like this will be really easy to add half of a CPVC coupler to, then I'll probably carve this down to create a guide into that coupler. So without further ado, I'm going to lay down the base coat on my tech target and start cracking away at that coupler mod, and then I'll work on the plunger tube. Alright guys, I had to make a segment about this one because it's just really, really cool. This is half of a CPVC coupler that I just carved down and sanded flush. Now what's really cool about it is the inner diameter of this hole makes this snap on perfectly, which means that it's going to be completely straight and it ought to seat absolutely excellently and then all I need is a little bit of epoxy to to really lock it down but that's my coupler that was so easy it's not even funny as you guys can see while I'm waiting for my paint job to dry I have carved down this back spring rest and I have cut a length of K26 this is the stock spring and while it is definitely a respectable spring, it is not nearly as tough as this longer and larger section of K26 I have chosen. I've also finished the coupler mod and epoxied it on. It looks like I got a screw epoxied on there as well, but I've removed that just now, so that is ready to go. All I have to do is change up the Teflon tape for the seal to be tougher, and then I will go in and add a tougher catch spring. I think I've signed the plunger rod, and as soon as the enamel on my paint job dries, I will be ready to show you the finished product. I'll probably do an internal shot before that to show you how the draw extension works specifically. Alright guys, so to do a draw extension in a tech target, the easiest thing to do, and you can see how I've laid it in here, is to lay down a thin layer of epoxy putty where the ridges are. Now the ridges will hold the epoxy putty in place, and then you just kind of stuff your plunger tube in there exactly where you want it to be, and you can create new rests for it by lining it up. You can see that mine now lines up right about there and locks into these two grooves that have been carved for it which obviously align with the ones on the plunger tube itself so that's never going to go anywhere because the epoxy putty is very strong and I've given it a whole day to rest now what's cool about this is when I line things up and I'm just kind of loosely throwing it into place here right now I won't have to stub nobs this to make sure that I always get my stuff to my speed loader to fit into the coupler as quickly as possible because I'm using the original tech target barrel that shot mega darts as a guide. It lines in just like this and I've reamed it out so that CPVC slides very loosely through it and connects with the coupler every time. So there's no fumbling around trying to find your coupler. It's very efficient. Everything else was just a matter of putting it back into place. Same trigger, same trigger return. I'm going to be upgrading the catch to accommodate for the K26. And the only other thing worth mentioning is inside this plunger here. I had to redo the spring so that it caught on the, the plunger head itself, which has been Teflon tape, because the K26 is too wide for this plunger head normally. I did that by blow torching it until it was red and then bending it with pliers because you have to use heat to to lock this spring into a different sort of place. So now it's thinner at the head and can't go over the plunger head and it works flawlessly. So I'm going to grease the plunger tube, put it back together and I'll show it to you as it is complete. 
Hey guys, this is the finished tech target. It was really more so than being a legitimate mod designed for a purpose, a reason to test a few different paints, painting techniques, and painting schemes for the Lilith, which is yet to come out and still very much so a secret. I made a single barrel for it and I've used it at two wars now and it's actually performed very nicely. It hits about 80 feet, which is incredible for a pistol. And I like some of the painting techniques and I don't like others. I just put a Raven Streamline in it. It'll shoot that with a very high velocity because it's lighter than a Stefan. But that gets incredible ranges. I will put one of my Southeast style slugs in the barrel. Fire that as well. Ranges are incredible. Performance is nice. It is a standard draw extended reinforced tech target on the inside. But you've seen all of that. I think I signed it on the priming bar and on the bottom. I learned that I really like this gunmetal paint scheme that I've done. And I don't really like trying to draw eyes. This one turned out poorly. This one turned out nicer and I kind of like it, but I'm still just not sold on it as a concept. I learned that the silver detailing on the gunmetal looks nice, but it really needs a darker color to set it off. And I know exactly what I'm going to use on the Project Lilith, but I will fire this one last time and that'll be the end of the video. This is, I guess, showing my process for how I paint really important blasters, as well as how to make a very nice, very powerful draw extended tech target. The only advantage to the tech target other than the Night Finder is it's weighted in such a way that it's much easier to spin. It is a more comfortable blaster to quick draw and then its dart holders are actually usable because you can put extra speed loaders in them. That's about it. Thanks for watching.